Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well here. This is Scott. Welcome to my video. And we're going to talk about a couple of things here. We're going to build a gaming slash video computer. And a couple of things I want to talk about here is, uh, for starters, none of this was donated to me. None of it was given. It was stuff that I purchased, uh, went online, and was kind of doing a lot of research over the past week and trying to get the best uh, for the money that I could and also to see what I could get. It's going to carry me another 10 years, 5 years down the road at least. Uh, with all the advancements that are coming out there so fast. Uh, last computer I built was about 12 years ago. Um, believe it or not, it was with Vista 64. And even then, the video card back then was pretty strong. I think it was a 9800, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, still going strong to this day. Just now with the updates, etc. Uh, Vista is outdated. However, I could switch that. But, uh, but with all the processors and the SSDs, etc. coming out and a lot faster, uh, I wanted to go ahead and build something a little bit newer. A couple of things to talk about. The case, uh, it's an NZXT, it's a H700i, great mid-tower. It's good for hiding your cables, from what I've read. Uh, it's got a, a, a light adjustment on there that you can go in and adjust the colors of your lighting, of the LEDs, etc., the fans light. Uh, so there's a lot of good things to that for the extra money that I spent. That's about 170 bucks. Uh, and then, of course, uh, for the board, there's an ASRock uh, Z370 uh, killer board. Uh, a lot of different boards out there just depending on what you're looking for. Um, that's basically a, a mid-grade board from what I've read and, and, and researched. So it's not a gaming board that you move up a little bit more. Uh, but for what I'm using and what I need, that's more than enough on that piece. And that thing ran for about $150. There's two slots in there for them to... Uh, cards if you want to use uh, the SSDs there. However, um, I probably won't do that. For right now I'm just going to run the one and down the road I'll upgrade. Uh, for the processor Core i7 that's 8700. That was about 380 bucks. And then I do have a, a liquid cooler that's going to go on that. That's uh, from Corsair. That's uh, an H115i. And uh, that thing was about 160 bucks I think somewhere in that neighborhood. And then, of course, video card, I went with the GeForce GTX 1080 NVIDIA. Uh, reason being is I do like the G-Sync video uh, monitors, and that's going to be coming down. And I'll do a separate video on the keyboard and monitor, but uh, I did purchase that monitor uh, this week here uh, with the G-Sync in it, um, ASRock as well. Um, but, but really good, good monitor. We'll have a separate video for that. Let's see the DDR4 Rip Jaws uh, V series. That's a 16 gigabyte. It's more than enough for me. Obviously, it's two eights. So that's a 3200 C14D. About $200 for that. And um, again, from what I've read, uh, they were the the top end as far as um, the DDR4s. I'm sure there's other ones out there, and everyone's going to have their opinions. So again, this is based off of what I've researched and found. And of course, uh, the Evo 860 one terabyte SSD. Obviously, for speed and durability, everything I've read, that was probably one of the better ones. You can go to the Pro if you want. I uh, spent a lot more money. That thing there was about $165 uh, for one terabyte when you could probably drive, uh, purchase the disc ones, the readers, but uh, for $40, $50. So, obviously, the price is a big difference on there. And then for powering it wise, I'm using a Corsair um, 850X. You can get up to a thousand watts from what I've seen a couple of areas as well. Uh, a lot of good functions to that from what I've read and more than enough power for what I'm running. And uh, again, uh, we're going to kick this off here in just a second. I'll, we'll start with the board and put the processor in and then I'll pull the case out. So uh, please enjoy the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and we'll talk to you all in just a sec. Alright, we're going to go right into the board. stuff we need for a back plate, antennas, etc. The best thing to do is just put it right back on the box. So you got 
guys should be able to see it there. And, uh, very easy. Comes out, folds out. I'm going to try to turn that so y'all can see that a little bit. Okay. Okay, and make sure um, it's got two little spots right here as well as your corner so um, you can it can only go in there one way and I'm sure as everyone looked at and read and, and did like me searched it you've seen um, where people put that in probably sideways or you know you really want to try to get that right on the first pop so that way you don't have to worry about it at all. And you see it's got the little spots there. Obviously, your sides will clip it. You can put a little pressure there. There we go. A little better. back here in just a second with the um, we'll probably go ahead and put the DDRs in as well all right I'm gonna put the rip jaws in here and uh, looking at the manual real quick it's actually uh, a2 we're going to be at A2 and B2, which A2 right here, making sure they're in the rail real good. Two is all the way over. Okay. And we're sitting good there as well. Looks pretty good. That's all we're going to do outside here for the board. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the case ready and then mount the board into the case. And of course, we'll have uh, the plate and everything working on here in just a second. But um, let me pull that case out and um, we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to. We have a little bit of room here. Bring this board over. And 
bring our case up. Now, obviously, it's pretty big. I'm going to have to reset um, how we're going to uh, work on this, obviously, so you guys can see it. Um, but again, I'll pull the glass out, we'll lay it down on its side, and uh, we'll see what we can get out of that. But um, tempered glass on the side is pretty awesome. Uh, thumb screws. The glass is, is very thick. side here that way we can work with it a little bit all right so that's going to change a little bit here and uh, let me get reset so we can work on that and get that installed Alright, so hopefully that's a little better. Um, I readjusted here. And I'm going to show you the other side of the case. Uh, this is obviously the non-glass. And this is going to have where we hide all the cables. It's going to be ran through the back side where you won't see anything at all. It's got straps. Uh, you can put small drives on the back side as well. So it's an awesome case. Um, all our screws and straps. is there as well. So everything I needed uh, for the case is there. But anyway, um, we'll come back to this once we start doing the wire and obviously the um, power supply be down here. And again, uh, it's just, just a really streamlined case um, that I thought would be pretty awesome for the build. And uh, very easy to use. So we're going to put this back for temporary and we'll come back to that. Just needed to get, needed to get the um, screws for the motherboard to put in place. Alright. Alright, we're going to go ahead and place the board in place. I'm going to go ahead and put the back plate on. good and falls right in place and I'll uh, go ahead and put the screws in real quick all right now with this um getting ready to install the bracket on the board prior it comes with two different styles of brackets so you want to make sure you use the right one obviously uh, your manual shows you one's for Intel, one's for AMD, 
and we're using the bracket or, of course, um, the Intel. ready to do the um, video card. Go ahead and put that in so we don't short nothing out. And what's cool about these covers in the back, very simple. Um, back where you used to have to bend them out or pop them out, these here you just take out what you need. It's almost too easy. Pop right in place. How's it going? It's going good. We'll put that right back in. And so the video card is in place now on the board. And we are ready to move on to setting it up straight and running cables in the uh, liquid cooler. Alright, so we're in pretty good shape overall. I'm going to get ready to run the cooler fans next. I'm sorry, the liquid cooler. 
Um, I'm going to put that in place and then get ready for the. Um, probably going to place the uh, 860 here or here. We've got a couple of different options, which is kind of cool. I mean, it gives you tons of options to move. You can run one, two, three here. Obviously, um, M.2, uh, M you've got one that you can put on that board. And you got another one, I believe, uh, down here on this side. So you can run two up there if you want. So a lot of expansion I can do over the next five, ten years if I wanted to uh, continue to build this computer. Um, but uh, obviously for what I've got in there right now, it's going to do pretty good. So we'll continue on. Um, and we'll go ahead and start with the uh, liquid cooler next and the fans. All right, guys, here's where we're at. Ended up um, putting in the liquid cooler um, with the case across the top. Ended up taking out the bracket and um, putting the the, um, the radiator across the top and then the uh, fans down towards the bottom. You could put that radiator at the bottom of your cage uh, on some units. However, on this one here, it's, uh, it's running into the uh, DDR4s. So uh, a little too tight in there for me, so I ended up lifting it up just a little bit, and um, it works fine, looks fine, and pretty streamlined. Ended up running the cables around to the back side, and I'm gonna clean all that up um, when we get done. But um, definitely love the case, the fact that you've got so much mobility that you can adjust and change things as needed. And uh, again, very, very clean and uh, looks really good in there so uh, liquid coolers installed and we're going to move on to uh, the power supply okay, before I kick into that power supply though I want to um, go ahead and put in the um, SSD and again we got three different areas that we can put it at um, actually there's quite more than that however uh, instead of sliding it here, I think I'm going to go right here and uh, we're going to feed it. Hide the cables around to go down the chamber, um, which I think is going to be really good work out and look sharp there. But uh, to do that prior, you need to um, go ahead and push this down and it slides right off. And from this, so I can get to the. I'm gonna, Put the screws right in there. That'll leave plenty of room for my cables. And um, It's going to leave lots of room for expansion down the road if I want to come back and add more memory, which I probably will. Probably put my operating system on one, another one for videos, uh, another one for gaming, etc. So, um, and plenty of room inside to, uh, to run whatever it is I need. Let's see here. clean and the cables will go right in here the power and then um, the SATA cable as well will go right through here and then hide in the chamber go to the back and then uh, come up into the board right behind the card so I'll run that here in just a second and then we'll um, we'll put the power power supply in and then start working on the back side Spin this around just a little bit. You can see that back end.
really nice about this one here. It's everything they make. If you look at this here, the cables. The cables are not connected at all. It allows you to run just what you need, uh, which is really good. Um, so you don't have extra floating cables in the back. So really nice. Um, power supply. So I'm going to screw this in first. I'll mount it on to the case and then come back and um, mount the case on. That's how it's going to look. I'll go ahead and do that real quick so we don't tie up any time, but um, it slides right in and then uh, we'll work on that back side. And you're right. We'll put the fan facing down. around here so you can see what that looks like and that gives us all our outlets here probably gonna have to unscrew that just to hit the pins um, to put in there for all the power that I need uh, to get to so uh, when you look at the cables we've got plenty of cable lines um, for all the different power items that we need so um, different types and uh, your PCIs etc. So uh, with that being said I'm going to go ahead and, and run these cables and we'll get right back after I do some setup. Alright so here's where we are the magic of uh, video we can skip around a little bit so ended up running all the cables and cleaning it up in the back uh, versus spending 15-20 minutes on a video going through it. only had to plug in four plugs uh, to my power box which was great which was really good and then of course I got plenty of expansion uh, plugs uh, for more fans if I wanted to that's coming from my hub and then uh, say the cable so I have three more I believe on this string here if I wanted to plug in but also um, what was great about the power supply I still had plenty left over uh, if I want to expand down the road so um, you know that's a great power kit you guys can come across it again that's that RM850X so uh, again cleaned it up I'm going to spin this around and we'll talk about all the plugs that was on the board I know I didn't go over that in detail earlier but I can break that down just a little bit I had to do a couple of researches uh, prior to doing it to make sure I was in the right spot. But uh, I'll snip these and then put the cover on. And uh, it'll look really, really good when completed there on the back side. Now, when we flip it around and we look at that inside there, let me make sure I've got a good uh, shot on there. And the only thing in this here I can say that I wish I had on this board is it only had two USB uh, plugs the 2.0 now you need one for your fan uh, for your cooler and you also need um, one for your front panel actually I had this one had two for the front panel so I had to order a hub I'm gonna wait when that comes in I'll plug in one of my front panel USBs to uh, the hub. I'll hide the hub in the back bottom and run it up and, and split it there. So uh, I got that off of a new egg, I believe it was. So hopefully in a couple of days 
and also it uh, for your PCI also gives you a split on this cable so if I wanted to run another board I could right here um, video card I should say plug in right there and we're good but everything else is uh, cleaned up and hidden I did move the SDD card and uh, SSD card excuse me uh, and I had to move it from here which I had a prior video and moved it up here the reason being is for my SATA cables uh, that had a slot of four on that strand and putting it here it shorted me one about in this area underneath and it was a waste so I ended up moving it to the back so I could plug in um, two more items um, for that piece. Uh, CPU for your board, your power supply there. Fan plug is up to the top right and that plugs into uh, my two fans for my cooler, water cooler. Then of course you've got your uh, main power to your board. This is from your front. Um, that's the um, 2.1 I think it is the uh, USBs the 3.0 excuse me USBs plugs here and then I had to slide this out to move my um, my plug here for my SATA as well so uh, right behind the card and really that's about it I have the speaker um, header for my uh, sound audio and then I have my lead for my front panel plugged in as well down there but uh, like I said very clean very streamlined so uh, we'll move further here I'll go ahead and I'm gonna wire strap that so it looks pretty clean uh, when the glass case comes it's covered up and uh, that's all you'll be able to see right there and that's that's very clean guys uh, a great build and uh, I'll be right back here what we're gonna move to is gonna go ahead and close it all up and then we're going to set up the monitor and uh, fire it up here in just a second. Yeah, we're going to put the glass back on. Good. Bring that USB cable out. It's not sitting there. This is the one we'll wait on the hub to come in. And then we'll worry about where we're gonna place that at um, when that comes. So tight with that one part sticking out. Isn't that pretty good? Alright. Okay. 
and we've got left in the back. I'll clean up as well. Go ahead and finish that off so we're ready. wired mouse so to have access to that and power supply. Good here in just a second. Run everything down and see where we're at on it. Really, very clean. He said, I really yeah, like this case a lot. Yeah, we'll start it out here in just a sec. All right, so here's where we are. Um, ended up putting everything up. The K95 is a the K95 Platinum. It's probably one of the high-end um, keyboards, and that was around uh, $190. I think you can get it on sale for about $160 sometimes, catch it on sale. And then uh, the G502 uh, Proto Spectrum uh, mouse um, is what I went with as well. And they have a new one now. I think it's a, a G502 Hero, and it might be out for a little while. And then the monitor. Uh, the monitor is a G-Sync monitor. It's Asus um, model numbers of PG2790. Um, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, it's got 165 hertz refresh uh, rate on it. Um, turbo keys. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff on there that I probably won't use, but uh, the biggest reason I wanted it was obviously for the G-Sync uh, to go with the card. And uh, it's a 2560 by 1440. So uh, it's definitely one of the higher um, video monitors. And there's so many out there now. Obviously, it's going to be preference. A uh, good thing is this one can spin uh, all, the way, all the way around, up and down. You can slide this up and down as well. So it's got a lot of good features in it. Um, but anyway, we're going to kick this thing off and, and uh, see how it lights up. truth. Turn that power switch on and we'll go from there. Alright. So we're going to go F2 because we want to get in there and make sure everything's correct. And so far it looks pretty good. Um, there's my two video cards. So they're showing there. Um, there's my Samson SSD 860. So it's showing there. What I'm not seeing right now is my fans. So um, we'll check on that in just a second here. Temperature, so everything looks good there. We'll have to change um, this piece up here. And let me see, light in motion. Not too sure how to get off of that just yet, but anyway. Um, but we're looking pretty good today. Is month we are on the 
the 19th, so we're good there. Um, and it is 3.30 in the morning, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds probably right. 3.53, so we're close enough there. And um, 15 is 3 in the afternoon, so we actually want to change that. so we're good there and the fans are not so we're going to have to check this out here saying two I do hear one running but I think that is the yeah they're just not running just yet so we'll have to get in there to see um, why I don't have them running but everything else looks pretty good CPU you can turn on boot or regular prior to is there so we're all looking good except for the fans did not kick on so I'm gonna have to figure out uh, if the power supply to the to the uh, hub is plugged in so I'll check that and and uh, reboot it but everything else is uh, is able to see so that's great yeah processor Good. Boot priority, obviously, we're going to boot there. Yep. All right. I'm going to switch to advanced mode. Um, but anyway, the only thing that's concerning me right now is that fan. And maybe they're just not kicked on because it's not got hot in there yet. So. Not too sure, but anyway, everything looks good, and uh, we've got that piece going right there. And like I said, I'll switch that back here, check the fan, and, and uh, we should be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the build, uh, but I'm anxious to get here and, and get after it and, and do a little bit of gaming and playing around. Thank you. Hey guys, here we are the next morning. Uh, set it all up a little bit better. Did make one change I went ahead and added another uh, 860 Evo one terabyte um, storage so we have two running here now one I'm going to use for gaming second one operating system as well as all the files and stuff that I'm going to be transferring uh, and photos etc uh, for for myself so then also we're going to add a, um, a blu-ray DVD writer and of course that's portable so I'll just have to break that out when I need to, and so that's going to go right up there. So anyway, um, that's where we are with that. So that's the only two changes I really made uh, prior to lighting it up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on and then go into the uh, system to make sure everything's there. It should see the two drives, uh, the video card, etc. So uh, let's see what happens. Everything should come on and run smooth, which uh, looks like it lit up pretty good. And we want to go F2 to go to the setup. And then on the screen, <laughs> we can see where we have, uh, there's the card, the, um, the motherboard, and there's the DDRs. They're both in the right slot, so they're both showing up there. Um, it's showing the CPU, the fan status, so that's great. So it's telling me... Also, the temperature uh, of the CPU, motherboard temperature, so 44 degrees. So everything looks good. Uh, did go ahead and set up the boot. Is on my first SSD, and then showing me on the uh, SATA drive. It's got one zero and one there, so running. So everything's running. Everything's looking good, and I can go in here now and, and do the setup. So hope you guys like the video and hopefully you guys can have an easy build as I did. Thank y'all. Hey guys, here's uh, where we are on the final final. Uh, I do apologize, but wanted to add this final uh, shot. 
and uh, this is actually uh, videoed probably five months after the build so there's a couple of things that have changed uh, over the past the video card has went extremely up just looking at it before I post all this uh, the video card went up about two hundred dollars so obviously Bitcoin mining is driving a lot of that as well so they're limiting uh, how many video cards you can buy as well as the price of them are are extremely high so uh, I think that video card I put in this one is about seven hundred forty nine dollars now uh, when I looked at it uh, today so again uh, this is the final build hope you guys really enjoyed it uh, I've been playing this uh, game now for probably I don't know a couple of months and really enjoyed it and obviously gonna switch over and start doing some VR uh, virtual reality games as well as uh, uh, some other extensions of that uh, but anyway hope you guys like it give me a thumbs up if you got any questions just shoot me a uh, uh, a question uh, through YouTube and I will respond as quick as possible and again hope you guys have an easy build I listed everything that I could in the video uh, for you guys to follow up on again new egg is where I bought uh, probably 95 percent of the items there great company haven't had any issues uh, with any of the products I received uh, no boxes damaged no issues there now I will tell you Best Buy will also match uh, price um, New Egg and some other companies uh, as when you go into uh, Best Buy and if you're looking at certain items you can also price match them uh, and actually they can scan it and pull up uh, four or five different items uh, that they price match with or I should say companies they price match with so again you guys uh, have a great build and uh, hope to talk to y'all down the road thanks